Games R Us coming to you guys with part 7 of our Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal Let's Play, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. So we can now officially buy the sniper rifle. We can also get the hollow shield glove, which sucks, but it is useful. Not right now, though. Now we have to go back to the Starship Phoenix to talk to um, Sasha. She wanted to hear our story. So what if we're going to get interrupted on our flight there again? Since apparently every planet we've gone to in the last two episodes have been interrupted. Oh, I don't think we actually are. That's kind of a nice change of pace, I guess. And we're back. I do believe we get some new gadgets now, I believe, because I think we're at the point where we get... Is it one or two planets? I can't remember. It was the biggest Tyranoid you've ever seen. <laughs> Big as a Star Cruiser and packing twice as much firepower. There was no escape. He was coming right at me. Closer, closer. Oh, what am I gonna do, right? Closer, even closer. Click, click. My blaster jam. <laughs> no way. What happened next? Yes, go on. We're all riveted. So, this is the mighty Q force I've heard so much about. Pathetic. I could obliterate the lot of you, and they wouldn't even mention it in Supervillain Weekly. True, sir, but you'd have done the fashion world an enormous service. And as for you, Agent Clank, I have far grander plans for you. <laughs> All right, Lawrence, you can turn it off now. Oh, may I, sir? What a treat. Al, come in! Yellow! Someone just transmitted a hologram onto the ship. I need to know where the signal came from. Let's see. Back tracing the signal. Hmm. Six path alpha key encryption. Amateurs. I got it. It came from a facility on planet Dax. Accessing their computer files. Planet Dax? Aha! I found something suspicious. Hatching it through now. Tonight, we take a journey inside the enigmatic mind of our galaxy's foremost evil genius, Dr. Nefarious. We'll take a tour of this secret facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious superweapons, including the dreaded rainbow Afrolyzer. Dr. Nefarious, we've all enjoyed your past work, but how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I will annihilate them! Lawrence, tell us a bit about this top-secret super weapon being constructed on planet Dax. Well, super is such a strong word. For that matter, weapon may be a tad overdoing it. We do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean at sunset. Is Dr. Nefarious poised on the brink of galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal pipe dreams? Stay tuned for more from Supervillain Weekly! Whatever Nefarious is doing on Dax, it can't be good. We'll check it out. You're welcome! But, before we do that... So, you've come back to displace my training course once again, hmm? Actually, we were hoping we could just pick up the gadgets and split. We have a spaceship to catch. Ha! You slackers are always looking for the easy way out! Then you can pass the course, you can have the device. Ah yes, this. We now have VR training, worth nothing. Those platforms can be activated with the hypershot. So if you ever played um the green object is a Ratchet and Clank target. 2. Press and this is a combination of the switch shot and dynamo. Yeah. Now this one I'm an itchy Press here. square to collect the green coat snippets. Yeah, yeah, okay. Press circle to destroy the red defense program. Or X. I don't know why you click circle. But there's a skill point here where you have to beat it within a certain amount of time, but you can't do it until you hack everything. I believe there's three hackable doors. So we can't quite do anything just yet. At some point, too, they'll tell us to go back to Annihilation Nation, and oh my god, where are the green ones, man? Like, they're just, like, diddle-doddle, and they're like, oh yeah, you're recording a video and want to get lots done? No. Sorry, son. You gotta do all this nonsense. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Like, at least it's interactive, but it takes forever. Yeah, yeah, right. 
then no girls to leave you soon. So watch out for the electricity, you'll get knocked down on the teleport back. We can't really go faster because of this stupid stuff right here. Press square to collect the green coat Did you really need to tell me that again? To destroy the red defense programs. The blue so why are you still are talking? Like, I cut you off. Like you're supposed to be quiet. Like, is it because of the force fields now? They're like, yeah, there's force fields now. Watch out for those. Yeah, see, there's two pages now, and then I can go up to four. Luckily, you don't have to do a lot of this throughout the game. It's mainly just here and there. Let's be real, it's annoying. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, suck up. Pew, 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 suck. Pew, pew, suck. Pew. Oh, we beat it. I wasn't even paying attention to the number. Kind of just get lost in it, just doing this stupid stuff. Ah, uh, hello, Dynamo time. Alrighty, man, here we go. We should have one more of those things left to do. Most of the time, the doors will only be like two levels for like the most part. Yeah, I shall say the same thing every time, doesn't matter how fast you go. And here's the last one. Press square to yeah, I know! Like, why do you keep saying that? Press circle to destroy the red defense These program. challenges do not the change. Are indestructible. My lordy game. Man, there's not much to talk about when you're doing this. So how was your guys' Christmas? Oh, it was pretty good. Got like a shaving kit, got some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Got a nice mug, a nice t-shirt. Nothing over the top fancy. But, you know, pretty realistic stuff. Not like a lot of people on social media bragging about how their, like, significant other somehow managed to get them a PlayStation 5 and all that when all they do is stream or have OnlyFans and you're like, yay. People don't actually work nowadays, they just take the easy way out. And it's like, really guys? This is so lame. I think OnlyFans needs to disappear, because it's like, people don't know how to have relationships anymore, they're all in there. They make money selling their body essentially, like, this is stupid, it's like, they're, they're making adult films, but not even making adult films anymore. And you do get a titanium bolt. I don't know why it doesn't say you do. But thank you. I'll take another one. Delicious. I think now we're at two. And we can leave. Then we have to come back. Alrighty, we'll just take those gadgets and be on our way. Oh, yeah. My is cocky now. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to meet Helga on the wrestling mat? Huh? You'll see how cocky you are. Twist it up like a wet noodle. Uh, maybe next time. Pansies. Yay! Let's go back. I said, let's go back. Yeah, you can cut it short a lot of the time by getting things off screen. So I always think it's kind of cool. Like this. Or like this. Uh, make sure you let go like at the right time, because letting go actually makes you go faster. I don't know what's making that grinding sound. I think it's the hacker tools. Yahoo! And see, if you time it fast enough, these things are all open for you. You want the you want the spider web ones? Though. I don't know why it did that. Oh my god! I hope that didn't screw us over by the weird glitches we had there, but. Now we got the skill point. Nice. Now we can leave the planet Dax. Level we didn't technically get the coordinates till now. Well, this planet, the Hollow Shield Launcher, can actually be upgraded fairly decently on. Only in one specific part, though. And it's kind of a bummer, but whatever. Anyways, we can now go to Planet Dax, infiltrate the weapons facility. Let's go! And 10 minutes of just cutscenes and training courses. <laughs> Yay. Man, some of these flights take forever, but you never know when you're gonna get an epic cutscene. You know, we get a planet that kinda looks like a rearranged Earth. Ow here. The Dax facility. Yeah, it has two outposts. We'd figure that out. I believe a new weapon does sh okay, no, no new weapon actually. That's pretty sweet. 
Oh yeah, these little guys. Um, let's just use the blaster on them. Now these big guys, these are the guys I'm talking about. So if you do this, and just stand behind this, it'll actually upgrade, but it upgrades super slow in this for some reason. And apparently our shield isn't doing anything. So you can just do that, and then what you can do is you can just like, you know, start shooting at them as you're behind protection. For some reason, until you go to challenge mode, that weapon just does not upgrade worth a dollar. And I'm not entirely sure why. It's one of those cases where like, oh, it's like way up there. Sir, why are you so high up there? There we go. This fight's not too bad. It does have another boss fight though. A lot of games do that where like they have like a bunch of boss fights relatively close together and then none forever and then it's like it just seems kinda empty. They only take three hits. Looks like we got some stuff up here that we can get to, huh? Oh, I think it's just boxes. Well, that's fine and dandy, I guess. I worth a little bit of money. I'm just worried that another big guy's gonna come out of nowhere and just try and smoke this one. Oh, yep, here they come. Mmm. My favorite enemies to deal with. Big Chung Guy. Let's see. Oh my god, I'm being mauled by their guns. Hey, we upgraded it! To the B5. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this one can actually one shot them now. Then release the button and sweep the beam across your enemies. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you get a B5 weapon. It completely changes what it does. And yeah, we got the. Get out of there before the fish comes and eats you. Yeah, there's a fish. Anytime there's water on a level like this, they will come and eat you. It's called a Sharkigator, I'm pretty sure. And they're annoying little buggers. I believe this is just for a, ga a gadget. Yeah, a useful gadget. It's still a gadget. Not the actual pathway we have to go. Actually, I think there's three pathways here, not two. But here we go. We got our gadget. A giant poop bigger than us. The charge boots. Double tap R1 to blast off with the charge boots. This is actually used for one of the secrets here, by the way. Yeah, see the pathway splits here. And what's really funny is this is actually a save point right here. Yep, yeah, see save point. And we still oh we only have 14,000 bolts, my lord. I believe this is the um boss fight pathway. You do need to go both ways though. You can't just go one or the other. You do have to go to both, otherwise you can't progress through the game. I think that's why Al mentioned that, and there's the boss. It's just a random dropship. Also, there's a missile there, but it's not supposed to actually shoot you over here. So I, that's why I don't think it did any damage. And this part's just to use your new uh, hyper shot, which is the slingshot and dynamo if you play the other games. Which is funny, because Ratchet actually has both those gadgets, you know is arsenal like in every game since the beginning so it's really weird that you have to unlock them in this game because then i believe in every other ratchet and clank game afterwards you automatically has them you gotta be careful because sometimes those destroy platforms ahead of schedule like they were kind of doing there and you don't want that to happen why do you throw your wrench thank you sir these may not be giving a lot of bolts but we do need more bolts because we're kind of broke and we got more over here. Oh, there's that weird glitch again that we had in the, um... Wow, it just double-clicked the platforms. I guess it was useful, but... Let's go! Why is it, like... It's automatically triggering all of them. It's like the circle button stuck down. It actually could be. This is a knockoff control, so... I actually don't know. Oh, so you're shooting at us way too prematurely there, dude, and what was that? It blew up the tower, so it was like, yep, yeah, camera angle, jank. It's 
actually a relatively sharp minor, by the way. Even though it has three pathways, it's not that long. Anyways, you can teleport back to your ship here. But we don't want that. We want to go over here. And now I highly recommend switching into the flux rifle flux for this. Rifle is an excellent weapon for sniping. To and apparently miss every single shot. Actually doesn't do very much damage against R2 him. To zoom your view in and out. Because I believe that's technically Dr. Nefarious. Like, it's just his dropship thing. Like, wow, we're already out of ammo. Okay. And maybe that weapon not being upgraded is really bad. Normally I have it like two or three levels up already, but not in this let's play. I have other weapons, like the Shock Blaster upgraded. Oh, uh, yeah, we got lasers that are a little hard to predict when you're at a weird angle like that. This thing now has 225 ammo. That's pretty insane. That's a pretty good ammo. It's not doing very much, though, even though it's upgraded to D4. Okay. Alright, come back, sir. Or madam. Robot. Machine. Device. Creature. Thing. Mythological warfare machine. You can actually hit them when it's phasing in and out of existence. It's really weird, but also why don't you ever activate both of those lasers at once? You would do better if you did it that way. What weapon do we want to upgrade? Let's try the Nitro Launcher on it. Ooh. There we go, it's gone. Oh, there we go, P4. Yeah, delicious. Now we can go over here. And looks like we got posters of that Courtney Gears robot that we've seen earlier in here. There's also a titanium bolt over there, by the way. Check it out. Looks like somebody's a big fan of Courtney Gears. Courtney who? Come on, remember that bombshell handing out prizes on Annihilation Nation? Ah, yes. Her specifications were remarkable. Yeah, well, she's not the hottest pop star in the galaxy because of her singing. That is odd. It appears this computer was recently used to edit one of her music videos. Oh, let's watch it! I, I mean, you know, it may contain a clue or something. Miss Gears may be in league with Dr. Nefarious. Yeah, who knew? She always seems so sweet and innocent in her videos. Well, except for that one with the... You know the... <clears throat> she might possess information about what Nefarious is planning. Oh, right. And if we win that grand prize on Annihilation Nation, we'll get another chance to talk to her. Ta-da, we have to go back to Annihilation McNation. Also, what is this over here? This isn't here normally, is it? There's some goodies going. Oh, goodbye, Nitro Launcher. I do believe these do eventually retract, so be careful. Like that. Ooh, that was scary. How do we get back, man? There's just a titanium bolt down here, which I will happily take, but already then. Yeah. Oh, it's a taxi! Return to our ship, you say? Let's go. Vroom, vroom. Charge in the name of Ratchet Spankania! Our ship is having a stroke over there. It was like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. I don't think we need any ammo either, do we? I guess we did. Anyways, now we gotta go back to the other bad place. In the next episode, sounds like we're going back to Annihilation Nation. Now this part up here is actually the harder part. 
the enemies are weaker than the path with the giant robots, but doesn't mean that they're any easier to deal with. Never mind, they died. Also, that went nowhere and completely missed it. Man, Strangler's weapons. Yeah, I see you coming up there, buddy. Congratulations to cool. Now, honestly, if you aim with it, it does do more damage, like the uh, sniper rifle. But a lot of the time, you're not going to get a lot of opportunities to actually aim it. What am I doing? I want this weapon. This just nuked them all. That one's actually coming in real handy here. We were almost way too close to that. How about that one just didn't blow up? It's just one. If you hit them directly too, it normally does more damage. Oh yeah, those little robots. And there's these guys who are like tactical sniper dudes. Oh yeah, you guys are shooting behind the door, okay. That's a useful tactic. You run out of ammo, why don't you? These little guys are wussy. Oh, we got big boy up here again, huh? Oh, hello. Ow, I think our shot just completely missed the big guy up there. Go figure, huh? Ow. There we go. I don't know why he took so long to kill. I do believe there is something around here to collect, though. At least I remember there being something around here. There's lots of boxes. We're still really low on money, but luckily we get to go back to Annihilation Nation. And then we do get to complete everything there. There's a multiplier box up there. That's not what I remember being here, though. I remember there being something else. Oh yeah, we have the charge boots. I'll have to show you guys this effect. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have four of these. Oh, that completely missed again. That one did it. That one did. That one did some pretty serious damage to them over there. Wait, why did it? Ah. Well, that's not very nice. I don't think I want to be executed. I think there's something over here, right? Anything? No. Nope. Oh, some boxes. I guess that's useful. We can get full health. You stop with that woo 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 in my ear. I believe this is where the hacker, yep, is used. Also, I see the little robots. I almost jumped off the ledge. I would have been embarrassing. Now let's let's activate the hacker. Oh thank god it didn't say how to use the hacker. Yeah, there's only two um what stages they call them. Okay, two stages. Also, if one fireball gets to the end, you lose. So be careful. Not to let those stupid fireballs get to the very end. I never know what to say in these little sections. We talked about Christmas. Um, what are you guys doing in January? It's my birthday in January. Also, the release of um, Pokemon Legends Arceus, which apparently they it's been data mined they don't have abilities or anything like that and i'm just like well that's really weird like because you will be able to transfer them to home at some point so i guess they'll get abilities when they get transferred over but i think it's weird that they don't have them in the game then unless maybe they'll never be able to be used that, that could also be a feature in, oh in this game, for some reason, it doesn't say when a weapon's out of ammo by showing it being red. You have to actually go on it to say zero. Oh yeah, there is a secret on the other side of this. And that's actually what the charge boots are used for, I'm pretty sure. Why do you give me the spinning hydra ammo? Oh, we got more of these sniper dudes again. Ooh, they actually take more than one hit to kill. Apparently that one did. Maybe not. It's just annoying me now, man. I think you only have to hack two doors here, though, so I think it's like two stages and then three stages. But, if you have the, um, charge boots, you can just use that to then travel over here really quickly. And you can just jump in here. Yeah, this isn't mandatory, by the way. 
this is actually a bonus area. You're not. <laughs> Sounds so sad when he died, isn't it? <laughs> He hit me. Also, what the heck is blowing up? These guys also do a lot of dam- oh, they have grenades. So say, they do a lot of damage for, for some reason. Oh, he died. Lucky pal. Oh yeah, it's a titanium bolt. A very dangerous to get titanium bolt, but one nonetheless. Thanks. I love collectibles. Yeah, we definitely needed that health, because those guys do do a lot. I think you can get up on the rooftops, right? Ah, I think we originally used to be able to. Even though it didn't do anything. I think this permanently opens this doorway. I think. Yeah, it looks like we gotta go hack some more doors now, that's fun. Which, it might be three doors we have to hack. I can't quite remember. But of course, it's gonna start us off with all fireballs. And not green ones. Go figure, huh? Ooh, double. At least we're almost done this way. Oh, this one only has a two-door as well. Oh, well, that's a way for you. Luckily, we haven't have we haven't had to do a four-door one yet, or a four-stage one. Oh, that was beautiful. That mobility I had going around. You can accidentally destroy the green ones too, and that sucks. Also, sometimes the stage takes 15 instead of your typical 10. So that's another thing that happens with this game. Oh, we have Nitro Launcher Ammo again. Nice. Oh, when they're behind cover like that, they do take less damage. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies right here. That also wasn't worth that much experience. Okay, sir, can you... can you just not? I don't know how much Lobman does. Well, won't know now that he killed himself, but yay. Hey, buddy. You're toast. Literally. Yeah, there was another door here. Ah, oh, he couldn't get me. Oh, that was unfair. Those hit the ground and still hit me. I love when the game does that, right? Ooh, there's a lot of boxes here. Why wasn't the double multiplier here? Why did they give me the infernal ability here, man? Anyways, we got yet again another door. At least this one seems to be a wider variety of stuff going on. Man, and lots of fireballs. Oh, I'll just got this one. Is this one a, t a three door one? Yeah, it is. Oh, and this one requires 15. Remember how I said that? Yeah, now we get the 15 door one. Or 15 green gloppy one. I forget what they called them, even though she said it like three times, I think. It's annoying, but whatever. Oh, I almost messed that one up. There we go. Is this one 15 as well? Yeah, this one's 15 as well. Why does it take so long for them to respawn, man? It's give me something to do instead of waiting. And not dealing with just fire like this. Like, that's not very fun. No one wants to wait for these things constantly, man. There we go, we beat it, finally. Sheesh. Oh, and it's the end. This terminal should give us high-level access to all of Nefarious's project files. I found something. I am afraid it does not look good. Bio-obliterator? Huh. I see what you mean. What exactly does it do? That information has been deleted. Uh-oh. Well, where is this thing? Location unknown. However, a large transport vessel left this facility yesterday. It was headed for the Obani moon system. The Obani moons, huh? Well, we better check it out. Are you interested in a career in the exciting fields of building security, no, execution, not. or VCR repair? Adios, amigo. Whoa, what level was two. with my head? Can we buy anything? Nope. 
Anyways, that'll do it for this episode, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys all next time for another exciting episode of Up Your Arsenal. Bye-bye, guys.